Hey everyone, so in last lecture we talked about joint probability distribution and marginal distribution for a discrete random variable. So when we have a discrete random variable, there we call it as joint probability mass function and then we saw its CDF and we also saw the marginal distribution. Today we are going to concentrate on continuous random variable. So same funda. Okay, so when you have a sample space S, okay, and you have a continuous random variable, so now here the output is a some line segment, some interval. So when on a single sample space, you have more than one random variable. And if I want to study their joint probability distribution, in that scenario, the joint PDF comes into picture. Okay, so like suppose this is the set of all some population x you take an element x will give you the height so it so x will take all possible heights from certain population y is suppose weight you take an element it gives us the all possible weights for all the elements so one can have more than one random variable on a given sample space okay so it's same like pmf okay so now how do we define this well the definition goes the same way that we defined over there so what is the first condition your f of x comma y should be greater or equal zero if I'm having two random variable, okay, which are continuous. What was the second condition for joint PMF? It was summation, summation, f of x, y should be equal to one. Summation, summation, you vary over x, you vary over y, your f of x, y should be one. And then one can say that your x goes from minus infinity to infinity, your y goes from minus infinity to infinity. Okay, so like, Suppose your range set of x has 1 to 10, range set of y has minus 10 to plus 10. At other points, you define the probability to be 0, okay, greater equal 0. So that's why one can always say this from minus infinity to infinity. So this was for the discrete case. For the continuous case, what do you do? What is the continuous version of summation? The continuous version of summation is integration. Okay, so f of x, y, dA is equal to 1. Here you have x and y. or over complete R2. Your x goes from minus infinity to infinity, y goes from minus infinity to infinity. So if you have such a thing, then such a function is called as a joint PDF. Okay, so this is nothing but the volume. So like if you recall, when you had a single PDF, so what was the thing? Integration of f of x was 1, right? So you have some probability distribution f of x from minus infinity to infinity and this area, complete area is 1. So whenever you have a non-negative function whose integration over the real line is 1, then such a function is called as a PDF. Now and if, I, if I take any two points A and B, then this particular area will give me the probability distribution between the random variable taking the value A and B. So there it was area. Now we are in higher variable, we are in higher dimension. So what does this gives you? This gives you the volume. So if you have a non-negative function whose double integration over a complete R2 is 1, then such a function is called as a joint PDF. And if I want to evaluate over a certain region, then we get the volume. Okay. So if you have a function satisfying these two things, we call it as a joint PDF. And what is joint CDF then? Again the same concept. Okay, even before that, this was for, for two variable. Again, for three variable, it will be f of x comma y comma z greater or equal zero. Here you will be having triple integration. Similarly, for four variables, five variables. Here, if you have n number of variables, you will have n number of integrations. Okay. So if someone asks what is the application of multiple integration, that why do we study triple integration, fourth order integration, fifth order integration, when we cannot visualize? Well, this you definitely use it when you play with data sets. Okay, when you have more than one random variables, that time we play with n-fold integration. Okay, one of the infinitely many examples, uh, applications. So, this is one thing. Okay, now let me take an example for uh, this joint PDF. And along with that, we will see for joint CDF as well. Well, it goes the same way for what we had earlier case. If I say f of x comma y, what do we do? triple integration f of say t comma r and you take everything which is less equal t which is less equal x okay so this is minus infinity to x and minus infinity to y so that's what right for uh, discrete uh, for even for single variable what was capital f of x integration minus infinity to x 
so here the same thing works so f of x y z minus infinity to x minus infinity to y minus infinity to z so that's how one can define cdf and then again one can ask about the marginal distribution the same question which we asked in our earlier lecture my strong suggestion is you please have a look for the earlier lecture as well so once you have a joint pdf question is can you give me the pdf for the single random variable answer is yes what did we do for joint pmf when x was given you vary over whole of y so to do the same thing now varying that means there it was a summation here it will be integration now it will be f of x comma y with respect to what i will integrate i am varying y so with respect to y i will integrate and here you will have the limits of y minus infinity to infinity so this is a marginal distribution for x if you want to find marginal distribution for y f of y for the random variable capital y x will go from minus infinity to infinity f of x comma y dx because my y is fixed in this scenario in this scenario our x is fixed okay so like the definitions go hand in hand if you have understood earlier lecture there will be no harm in understanding this part but still if you have doubt you can ask me in the comment section now let's take some examples so here is the example so a joint pdf is given to you so i'm taking almost all possible kind of questions one can expect on joint pdf or cdf or marginal distribution so i'm having two random variables x and y and this is a joint probability distribution so what is my region over here my x is going from 0 to 1 and y is going from 0 to 1 and moreover i have strict inequality so all these are dotted lines so this is an open square but as you know when you are in in continuous case whether you take or don't take the boundary it will not affect the integration okay but anyways now first thing is what i want to find the value of c now we know that since this is a joint pdf it is given to you therefore when you double integrate over r2 your function double integration of f should be one right so this is what we have now everywhere it is zero zero otherwise and x is going from zero to one y is going from zero to one now you use your knowledge of multiple integration dy dx if you have forgotten you can see the link of the playlist in my description okay so your c can come outside x integration is x square by 2 so 1 by 2 1 by 2 equal to 1 so from here one can see that the value of c comes out to be 4 okay so now let me write it over here the value of c is 4 so our pdf is 4 xy in that rectangle in that square so we have got the answer for the first question what is f of 1 by 2 comma 1 by 4 so when you put up the value over here small f is given to you so 4 into because this point is inside this square so f of half comma 1 by 4 is nothing but 4 into 1 by 8 so 1 by 2 is the answer okay so answer for this is 1 by 2 that means the probability that the random variable x will take the value 1 by 2 and y will take the value 1 by 4 is 1 by 2 cool now we have capital f of x now what is the formula you integrate from minus infinity to x integration minus infinity to y and you integrate your function 4xy dy dx correct that is what you mean by cdf joint cdf now here i can go from 0 to half and 0 to 1 by 4 because it is 0 elsewhere correct so what is this now 4 comes outside for y it is y square by 2 and so here i have x square and y square right and for y it is 1 by 60 y square and for x it is 1 by 4 so answer is 1 by 64 if someone asks you what is the formula for capital f of x comma y you take here x and y okay if you want this if you think this variable confuses you you can take this as rs dr and ds okay so your x is r and your y is s so this will get the answer in terms of x and y so some people ask you the formula for joint cdf some ask you the particular value in this case it was 1 by 64 when it is 1 by 2 and 1 by 4 okay so this is the third question one can expect either at a particular point or in general the formula what will be f of 1 comma 1 it will be 1 directly why because it is the extreme end point so everything below this and everything below this so you are integrating over this complete region and other where is zero so that means the answer has to be one because your joint cdf or cdf takes the value one at the extreme point because you are summing up everything below it 
in this case we are integrating everything below 1 comma 1 okay so this has to be 1 this is marginal distribution so what is this my marginal distribution for x right so my x equal to half is given so what will vary my y will vary minus infinity to infinity but in this case y is 0 to 1 because otherwise it is 0 so c into x is given to me half into y dy and when you solve this this is 2 into 1 by 2 which is 1 so provided i am right 1 by 2 yeah so this is what you get okay so answer is 1 again the same thing here also some people might ask you the formula what is this so in that case y will be 0 to 1 4 x y dy so now 4 x will come outside because your x is fixed your y is y square by 2 so answer will be 2 x okay so either they can ask you a formula or they will ask you a particular value and the same thing goes for f y at 1 by 4 okay so now here my c is this my y is 1 by 4 and my x will be varying and x will go from 0 to 1 and in this case your answer will be 1 by 2 and again if someone asks you the formula y then you will keep your y here and then you get the answer okay so this is another type of question one can expect for joint pdf and cdf on marginal distribution what the seventh question says that probability that x should be less equal half so your x will go from 0 to half and your y is 1 so it will be 4x your y is 1 dx okay so this is also kind of cdf itself expect except your y is going to be one fix and when you solve this now i think it's easy to solve you get the answer for the seventh question what about the eighth question it is given to you that your x is greater than y so this is one comma one dotted lines open square this is x equal to y line and x is greater than y that means this region so i want to integrate over this region so what will be the answer my x is going from 0 to 1 my y is going from 0 to x if you recall how do you find the limits of y you draw the line parallel to y axis so it is entering from 0 it is coming out from y equal to x line what is the function 4xy dy dx you solve this you get the answer for the eighth question and what about the ninth question again the same thing x plus y should be strictly less than half so if this is my half this is my half this is x plus y equal to half and it should be less than half so this is the triangle right so x will go from 0 to half y will go from 0 to half oh no sorry so x is going from 0 to half what about y y will go from 0 to half minus x because this is x plus y equal to half so y is half minus x so therefore you here you have 4 x y dy dx this will give you the answer for the ninth question okay so these are all the kind of questions one can expect on joint pdf joint cdf and the marginal distribution so i hope this is clear if you have any doubt in this example or any other example you can ask me in the comment section thank you